Members of the Ashby, Minnesota Farmers Elevator have voted to give the board authority to sell its assets and dissolve the co-op. It closed on September 14th after it was discovered the former manager had made nearly $5 million in unauthorized transactions. And now federal authorities are looking into criminal charges. Nicole Pates has the latest. Former Ashby elevator manager Jerry Hennessy is alleged to have taken about $5 million from the elevator. On October 15, co-op patrons met to hear the latest developments. So would encourage you to have duplicate copies. Attorney Eric Algren, who was hired to investigate, says the elevator has about $10 million in debts. He's filed a complaint with a court that would allow him to go after Hennessy's assets on behalf of the co-op. Our hope is that we'll get a judgment fairly quickly and we'll be able to start to recover assets on behalf of the creditors, including the farmers and the other members that were in here. Certainly a big concern to me. Minnesota State Senator Tory Westrom of Elbow Lake questions whether the elevator's bond and insurance were big enough. He says the legislature must look at what can be done to prevent situations like this, like forming an indemnity fund. We want to be well informed and well positioned to uh, try to come up with better ways to handle this or avoid this altogether. At this point, it's not known how much Ashby co-op members will recover, but Westrom advises them to file a claim to the Minnesota Ag Department to get their share of a $120,000 bond. In Ashby, Minnesota, this is Mikkel Pates for Ag Week. The facility is reopened under a lease with the Wheaton-Dumont Co-op Elevator.